cold. Okay. Hello, everybody. We're ready to go. Almost as soon as Allie joins us here. Oh. Yeah, pour out some coffee. We're right here in the dining room. Where you're sitting there is in our kitchen. <clears throat> so we've got the piano and the banjos in the dining room. tonight let us know in the comments what you're drinking you know if we were at mountain layers as scheduled we would all be having a nice delicious homemade beer but as it is oh yeah here we are it's all right so, i'll drink some coffee tonight stay awake past nine maybe even maybe yeah so we don't know who out there is out there pete tony john becky Bonnie, Bob. Jasmine might be watching. Jasmine. Cynthia's probably out there. Looks like nobody's out there. Who they are. All right, let us know what you're drinking out there, and where you're watching from. What do you want to play, honey? Are you up for a cowboy song? Let's do that dig a hole. Okay. One, two, three. Let's do that cowboy song, shall Okay, we? sounds good. I just want to see who else out there. We got Mark Dillon, Rick Dwinger, Joanne. Hey, Joanne. We've got Lynn. All right. Our buddy Lynn up in Batavia, Illinois. Dennis wow. Allen. John Spain, Tim Frilling. Hey, Tim in Florida. Wow. Barbara Springfield in North Carolina. David Varnell. And probably more, but I can only see two comments at a time, so sorry about that. We're going to play, you know, another piece from Treat a Stranger Right. Our new album that came out February 7th. Learned it from Lead Belly. Lead Belly. When I was a cowboy, all right? One, two, three, go. Yeah. 
Kai, I get hippie. I love that. -do 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 -do. that. That was actually a mistake that yeah. time. I was trying not to do that. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Whatever it says. Whatever it says. Yeah, I can't. If I'm looking at the camera and playing, I can't scroll down and see our new comments. So. Hey, Phil Slates, thank you. Congrats. Wow, long way. He's wow. probably congratulating us on some news that we announced earlier this week. Um, so we're going to have a little baby. Yay! Yay! <laughs> I'll drink to that. <laughs> <laughs> mm. So that's exciting. Um, guess when the babies do, y'all? Labor Day. Da -da. So we found out Christmas Eve that we were expecting, and um, then when I had my appointment, the doctor said, baby's due on Labor Day, and I said, this baby has a great sense of timing. Baby's going to be a musician or a comedian. Well, <laughs> Maybe both. Are you actually going to dance tonight? Sure. You want me to dance now? I dare you. I don't know if it's good for that baby-o. Well, I think he doesn't mind. It'll be short, right? Baby-o? <laughs> As big as a cucumber, I think they said. The baby's a cucumber in there. Every right time, now. yeah, let's sing a baby in the song. <laughs> okay. All right, so the pregnant lady is going to be on this board here. <laughs> Please don't forget our tip jar now. This is what. <laughs> I guess they can see me. I'm gonna All right. Where it was here. All right, Ready this is my hobby for the, for the fall. I was learning some uh, percussive dancing, and I'm not very good, but, you know, we're just here in our kitchen, and you're not judging me too bad, so here we go. What'll I do with the baby? Oh, this is an old traditional piece from way back in the mountains. It goes like. Arkansas sheep, if that's all, all right. right. I know, you know, I guess in theory there might be somebody out there from the state of Arkansas who is uh, watching, so we don't want to slam anybody too hard. There's my former babysitter, Sheila, from Oklahoma. Most of the time we can play music at Mountain Layers. We don't have to worry about offending Arkansas people, really, for the most part. <laughs> but if you happen to be out there and you're from the state of Arkansas, please don't be offended. This is one we learned from Blind Riley Puckett, all right? And he was from Georgia. And um, whew, long story, but I'm not gonna get into it. Love it. <laughs> well, I'm Riley Puck, and here's one called the Arkansas Sheet. <laughs>
Workshops. Um, we also played at the Ozark Folk Center, which that podcast just aired, uh, I think, last month or so. Mm -hmm. Hey, I was wondering about playing some Ivan Dewart for our friend Ivan, George. Who is up this there. Ivan person I keep hearing about? <laughs> Ivan Dewart. Is that like Dewart? Ivan Dewart. I heard Dewart. some Dewart. Ivan Dewart. I grew up with some Dewarts. Which one do you want? Um, I'll play that one since okay. it's already capoed up. I think, yeah. Gonna pull out this fine Dean Robinson banjo here. Got a onesie stuffed in the back. These onesies are so versatile and functional, too. I'm doers in the key of. A. So we've got this little logo down in the corner of our screen. Uh, that's some new technology we're trying out there. And that's oh, because yeah. we are um, at Mountain Layers tonight. Mm -hmm. They're helping sponsor the show. And um, we're partnering with them and Restoration House is the recipient of most of the donations tonight. Groovy. So anything that comes in, I can tell you more about it, but we're going to kind of split it with Restoration House up to a certain point, and after that, they're going to get it all. So I'll tell you more about it later. Here comes I've endured. Two, three, four.
flowers? And is that flowers? Is that a butterfly? <clears throat> no, it's a heart. <laughs> We had a great butterfly experience earlier this week. I was out on a walk with Willow, our six-year-old, and stopped to look at a six-leaf clover that was on the side of the road, which is cool anyway. But then we stepped to look at the clover, and this yellow butterfly, I think, was attracted to my bright yellow sweater I was wearing. And he sat on my elbow the whole way home. So we walked the rest of the more than a quarter mile home, and he just sat there. Maybe he was a little stunned. He'd been hit by a car, maybe. And uh, so we brought him home and fed him some honey water and put him in a safe place in the yard. And next day he was gone. So hopefully he's out there safe and sound. We heard he was a yellow swallowtail. It's really pretty. So tell us where you're watching from if you haven't. Uh, a lot of you we know, so we know, but the other people don't know. And it's kind of fun to all see where we're watching from. And if you're... Uh, holding an instrument out there. Our friend Tony from Florida sounds like he's playing along. Tony, I will play the gold tone. He's got a matching banjo to mine. Um, so I told him I'd play a piece or two on there tonight. Right now it's time for the metal guitar. Let's do Stranger Song. All right, Stranger Song. So uh, we learned this piece from Blind Willie Johnson, whose image is on one of these t-shirts behind us. Uh, maybe I'll show you later. But, uh, they're also on frankenally.com if you're able to navigate away from here and look at something else on your device. But the song's called Everybody Ought to Treat a Stranger Right, Long Way from Home. You ready now? Yeah. One, two. Everybody ought to treat a stranger right. Treat a stranger right Long way 
Yes. Everybody ought to treat a stranger right. Wow. Oh. You grab a t-shirt on that one. Yeah, like Frank's got to show off his creation. He made this design. When was that? Like January? And um, so this is our newest t-shirt design we have in our store. And it does say, everybody ought to treat a stranger right. And that's Blind Willie. Tell him why he's in space. Well, he was uh, added to a collection of music that's on uh, a space probe called Voyager. And it was sent out about 1978. And I don't know what all's on there. I do know it's the music that's on there. I do know Blind Willie Johnson's music's on there. And there's a lot of other great artists, both contemporary and early artists, who recorded everything from classical music. I'm sure there's some world music. So it's out there beyond our galaxy. What the heck ever that is. Mm -hmm. Anyway. The album that you can find that on is right here. It's called Treat a Stranger Right. Um, just wanted to let you know where you can find it. You can Google for that and find mm -hmm. it on all the platforms, plus our website, too. So, what do you want to do now? I don't know. You want to choose something? I've been picking on all this stuff. Is your fiddle tuned up? Well, we can see. That is a good question, honestly. I don't think it's ever really been in tune. <laughs> but let's just see here. What would you like to do so I can Oh, get my you know, brain? like we could do some sugar in the board or some... Uh, Borrow a knife, John Brown. That's tree. right. We've got a fiddle tune. Let me get this other banjo here, Tommy. Actually, two fiddle tunes on this new CD. And I've been playing the fiddle. I started playing fiddle back in 1993. And um, it just sounds like it was just yesterday. Oh, honey, I disagree. Oh, really? You do. Well. You do a very good job. If anybody out there is working on an instrument in uh, in your free time, let us know what you're working on. I'm kind of working on fiddle myself. I've got a friend, John Inkle, who came over right before all this went down and showed me some stuff and left me with some tabs, and it's been really fun working on that a little bit here and there. I'm going to G, Tony. Frank likes to play cross-tuned pieces that I guess you'd normally hear in A, uh, but he plays them down in G because it's friendlier to our ears. Actually, there's a group of players who actually get lower than G. They call it Georgia G. Hmm. And these people are all over the East, actually, but I just knew it as Georgia G. Halfway between F and G. That's cool. Makes the fiddle sound a little bit easier on the ears. That's not gonna work. I just bashed and I hold Gibson there. So we're gonna play one, it's called Sugar in the Gourd. It's a little bit early in the evening to be playing such a vulgar piece like this because there might be some kids out there. Well, we'll just have to cover their ears. Maybe I gotta come that way or something. Okay. I keep flashing that. Don't bash that. My cousin's son has been playing piano and guitar. We just had guitar club for some oh, kids really? today. And um, yeah, hit, hit me up if you'd like me to share some tips.
what people call rougher than a cob. <laughs> That's where I'm coming from. Oh, come on. Well, while yeah. we're here, we have to do another one. Are you serious? Yeah. Come what on. What they've done to deserve Let's this? Let's do one more. Which Barbara one? says she loves your fiddly. Barbara. She's so nice. Thank you, Barbara. You could do, um... You could do, what do we always play? We're playing some Train on the Island or some sh Short and Bread. <laughs> Oh, I love short and bread. I you remember my do. mother singing short and bread to me back when I was a little kid in East Point, Georgia. Oh, down there we had a little monkey named Evelyn. This is true. Yes, all is true. So we're gonna do once again short and bread. My mom would call would sing this song. piece for you that we learned from uh, a little brother duo from down in the uh, eastern part of Georgia, about middle ways down, the Kofer brothers. Paul and Leon Kofer are buried right there. Ralph David Abernathy Boulevard, Westview Cemetery, right there on the south and east side of town, just inside 285. I'd love to take you all there in one big group. <laughs> Phil and John Carson. All right, I'll just... Sing whatever words I remember. How's that? And what is it again? Black Bottom Blues. The Black Bottom Blues. This is one that Jerry Garcia ripped off the melody, some of the words, and made a Deep Ellum Blues. One, two, three. Oh, sweet mama, daddy's got them black. 
Florida, Georgia, Paul and Leon Kofer recorded that thing back in the late 1920s in Atlanta. But they had learned it from a bunch of the laborers who worked on their parents' turpentine farm, a pulpwood farm down about the middle part of Georgia, Sparta, Georgia. Hey, well, you got the fiddle up still. Let's do some of uh, that first piece on our new album, that um, Sugar Babe. Here's a real good piece learned from Joe Birchfield by way of Harold Hausenflug. I did hear Joe play it a lot, though. It's called Ain't Got No Sugar Baby Now. called the Banjo Fiddle Frolic here in Bryson City and um, at one of them we hosted one of our instructors Chester McMillan who's a legendary old-time guitar player up in Mount Airy and uh, he taught me somewhat how to play with these finger picks and his way of doing it. Now when I say he taught me I'm saying he let me like stare over his shoulder <laughs> but, but uh, anyway so that was my Chester McMillan attempt at playing guitar. So let's play that nylon string banjo. Oh, Here yeah. goes Buster out the window. Oh, yeah. Cat's coming in out the window. Let's gonna stay where it's close to. Okay, we're gonna do a couple more pieces on, maybe on this banjo and then I'd like to take a short intermission. I have a few pictures I'd like to share with you. Pictures of mountain layers in action and pictures um, and information about Restoration House. And so we'll do that as sort of a break while Frank retunes the nylon string banjo. And if you're still with us out there, good. we'd appreciate, um, hmm? I think that's what I'm doing now. Gonna go ahead and tune it, oh, right? Oh, tune it for wherever you want to go first, and then while I do oh, the thing, tune it. Yeah, so we do it in different tunings, different ways, but, um, anyway, if you want to make a comment out there what song you've liked so far, or if you know songs we usually play and want to request one, uh, we already did one request, I've Endured. We put out a Facebook call earlier today, and we had some other requests, but they're songs that we don't usually really play, and um, we just, we're not up to pulling that off tonight, maybe another night. Alrighty then, with that said and done, what you want to do, little block? Lost John? Okay. Well, here we go then, you tell them about it. I Lost John, that. coming to you from a lot of variety of different sources, and it's on our new album, Treat a Stranger Right. Harold Housen Fluck is one source. Who's another person we learned this from? Um, Burnett and Rutherford played some Lost John, I think. You bet. Yeah. Here it so goes. This is actually the noise I'm playing I learned from R.L. Burnside. It's a, a little groove that he showed me one night late. <laughs> so here we go. Shoes 
on his feet. Begging all the women for some bread to eat. He's long what gone. What I ever seen was lost John walk from Bowling Green. Oh, lost, lost John. John. No shoes on his feet. Begging all the women for some bread to eat. He's, He's long, long gone. YouTube for Frank and Allie Lost John. It was shot right here in Bryson City. Rachel's watching from Portland, Oregon. Hey, wow, Rachel. Wow, wow. Philippe Thanks. Shills, and I think Illinois is where he's at. Christine from Noblesville, and Jacqueline from Connecticut. All right. Thank you all for watching so much. If you've enjoyed it, you know, you can share um, or hit the hearts or write a comment, and all that helps more people see it. Uh, as they're sitting at home tonight. So we'll do a little bit of Ruben's Train. Ruben's Train, Then we'll take yeah. a short break. All right. But don't go anywhere. I've got a presentation. One, two, three. <laughs> Yeah, no, Ruben had a train with from England, Spain. 
folks. I see all the hearts and everything flying around. It's really special. It is. Thank you. It's it does take the place of clapping somewhat. It's maybe it about sixty percent about <laughs> the same. Um, so we're going to switch gears slightly. Frank's going to retune his nylon string banjo That's for hard. seeing what we want to play next. And meanwhile, I've got a little show to show you. Oops. About mountain layers and restoration house. Um, so we're going to switch gears over here. Mountain layers is a new brewery since about three years ago they had their grand opening and they've been kind enough to hire us about um once a month to go play up there on their rooftop deck restoration house is a also somewhat new uh, community charity organization in bryson city and so we're going to talk about each of them in turn here's mountain layers this is where we play we play up there on the roof and usually if it's cold and we play inside and it's right there by the Tuckasegee River you see in the background. It's on one of our main streets here in Bryson City and so it's real easy to see and um, that blue awning really makes it stand out. Often there's a food truck parked next to those steps and uh, people can get their grub and their beers and have a big time. So we really love it there. Mark and Kim are the proprietors. There they are. They're from Minnesota. They've had second home down here in Bryson City for many years before deciding to make the big move and open a small business here. Um, Mark is retired law enforcement and uh, they are just the sweetest folks as you can tell just from that picture. And there are just some happy people at Mountain Layers. It is a kid-friendly establishment so we've had our share of kids dancing to our banjo noise. It's really great. There we are last summer maybe playing a little bit of double banjo. And there's the rooftop deck. So Restoration House, um, sort of an initiative sponsored in part by Bryson City United Methodist Church, but they serve anybody that needs it here in our community. They reach out and with the love of God to address critical needs for an impoverished, impoverished population that falls through the gaps. Um, so they care for our mind, body, and heart with free medical care, counseling, access to free food, supplemental education, and even temporary emergency housing. So they're covering a lot of bases, doing a lot of different services. I learned that they have one paid position, their executive director, but 30 volunteers. So they have a lot of people helping out without getting paid at all. They are funded mostly by grants and donations. Um, the county will chip in on occasion, but it's not ever for sure. And so they have a $40,000 or so yearly budget. And here are their services. They've got a relatively new homeless shelter uh, that is in in motion for the cold months. Their food pantry is called the Blessing Box. They host drum circles for people to just gather and have fun. They have free health clinic in partnership with a local college, free tax and financial services, help with rent, electricity, and medications, a community garden, and as our friend Catherine told us today, mostly a non-judgmental ear and a big heart. So just a few pictures. That's kind of a little drawing of the front helping with domestic violence awareness. They're also really getting out there with their visibility in our community by being the grand marshal of our Christmas parade this last year. And they have their own fundraiser to try to get some funds for their very cute little building and all their programming. There's their community garden getting started. Here's a new amphitheater that they're building behind the building. Excited to see what plans they have for that. That's going to be fun. And so tonight, um, as per Mountain Layers wishes, we are collecting donations for Restoration House. Mountain Layers didn't want any of the donations tonight. They said they're going to be fine. They said you and Restoration House split the money. So we said, okay, so we'll keep up to $150 
if we get that much, um, you know, if it's less than that, we'll split it with Restoration House. But if it gets up to like 300 or more, then we'll get to keep about 150, which is how much we would have made if our show had gone on at Mountain Layers. And then uh, that's our cap. So everything we make above that, we'll be sending to Restoration House tonight. You can send cash to paypal.me slash frankenally or send us money on Google Pay, frankenallymusic at gmail.com. We have some more options on our site, frankenally.com also, including sending a check. Um, so just tell us that it's a gift from tonight. Put the date or put Restoration House or something like that so we know what to delegate it for. And we're really happy to um, share, our, share our gifts for such a good cause. So let's switch back now to Rank. There we are. And we've lost some of our lighting, so I'm going to turn on our light. And we'll play a little bit more for you guys. It's hot down here in North Carolina. I guess some of you people are a lot further south. Yeah, it was quite warm today. It felt like summer. <laughs> I took a big nap most of the day. I got so worn out with the heat. I don't know, one person oh, there's lives Katie. in a hot okay. climate that might be drinking a little wine tonight. <laughs> so, where are you at? You want to do I'm some... I'm double buck. Double buck? Yeah. Oops. You want to do some Elkhorn Ridge? I'll sure. that in a minute. Yeah. Okay. Here's Drink one. Some Open. wine with an AC on there at the Ooh. place. You know who I'm talking about. <laughs> This None is one called the Elkhorn Ridge, and you've all heard the story, so I'm not going to tell it again. Oh, honey, some of them haven't. Well, Allie's got herself a corn liquor still set up. As soon as she gets finished with this pregnancy business, she's going to be hot on track again of making that corn liquor. She doesn't want to get caught making corn liquor while she's pregnant. I don't understand it either. <laughs> at any rate, she's up to about 540 gallons a month for her own use now. Oh, she's running off. Elk Corn Ridge. Oh. We have, where we live here in North Carolina, we have elk in the neighborhood walking through big, like, horses eating the hostas. I don't know. Our hostas. That must have been what happened to them. Yeah. Elk ate the hosta. Sounds like a fiddle tune title. You bet. So, Elk Corn Ridge. One, two, three, go. <laughs> Cheese! 
covered and popularized by Jim and Jesse McReynolds. That's kind of our version that we're learning from. Love it. So I'm going to hold an F chord and play this. Key of F. One, two, three, go. all of them, but uh, we were the number one album for January and February on Folk Alliance International Folk Radio Chart. So that was pretty great. We we're happy about that, getting our music out there to more people. And uh, this next song is on there. It's one we learned from the Carter family. Uh, Mother Maybell played this one with a flat pick. You know, she was more known for using her thumb pick. Carter Scratch, but she played this one with a flat pick. So. Oh, yeah, and the key of. And the key of D. I was all geared up for another key. Ah, well, it's all good. Okay, then. This 
This one is one of our friend Tom's. It's, one, it's his favorite. He twisted it the other night. You want to be out there. Tom comes to the mountain layers quite a bit. Yeah. the Nantahala Gorge. We're out in the very western part of North Carolina in the Great Smoky Mountain. We're right out on the border, the southern border at Deep Creek. For anybody that's ever come to Deep Creek. How are you going to kick it off? Like that two okay. and three. Memorial Festival in May, and we'll be back there when it's rescheduled for September 30th. Um, but here's one that we learned for the first time we played there because John covered it, but we learned it from the Blue Sky Boys, and it's called Turn Your Radio On. Turn Your Radio On.
Yay. Or thank you for turning your Facebook on. I see Vera out there from my hometown of Edinburgh, oh, Indiana. Wonderful. I see Lucas Poole from wow, the Mountain View area of Arkansas. Thank you for tuning in. I see Lizzie Plotkin, who I met in what's that town in Colorado? Starts with a C. Tell me, Lizzie. Forget right now. Carbondale. Carbondale might be it. That was a wonderful time. And I see Gray Pierce from up there in Michigan, and I see Deb from Mountain View, and I see Hillbilly Lion Tamer from who came to our banjo fiddle for all. Great to see you all out there. You want to travel down the Lonesome Road? I think that'd be a great thing to do. I'd like to call them, tell them good night right now. So, oh, really? Yeah, we're right, right, about yeah. into like an hour and ten minutes. That's here to true. Sit. We could take a long break and tune off. <laughs> well, it is. Getting to be that time. Thank you all for joining us tonight. Um, we don't really have our next live stream planned quite yet, but tentatively maybe we'll have one on Friday. I was talking to another local establishment trying to get one going on. We could just do it anytime we want, of course, but we really like the idea of partnering with uh, a venue to support them at this time. So if you know of a, a venue or a restaurant or a bar or, you know, somewhere that's had to close, um, send them our way and we'll put together a show that they can partner with us on. I'm telling about the traveling down the Lonesome Road. Okay, we learned this from Bill Monroe, father of bluegrass, and it's called Traveling Down This Lonesome Road. It's on our album. We're doing a lot from this one tonight, our album Roll On Clouds. Frank's tuned in, it's kind of an E modal tuning, I think, on the banjo, but we're playing the song in the key of B. Well, no, your B modal. I'm in like double B. Oh, so double B, I'm sorry. Down a half step from your regular. I was confused with some of those other ones we do. I'll get confused. <laughs> so we're at. We're the key we're of B. Down a half a step from, from a double C right now. Also. But we're doing a bluegrass piece that Bill Monroe made very famous and sang it really great. I'm traveling down the Lonesome Road. So uh, thank you guys for tuning in. I see a Malcolm from Harbor, Washington. And Oz Morgan. Any update on donations? Cynthia wants to know. Oh, how thoughtful of you to ask. So just keep in touch with us or watch our Facebook page because we do these regularly, pretty regularly. I'm actually teaching a little series of slide guitar workshops to show you how I play the uh, the bass, alternating bass slide guitar thing that I was doing earlier. And uh, Cynthia, I, what I've got to do is get into my emails, which I'm almost there, asking about update on donations. But what I will do is calculate that as soon as the stream is over. And, you know, sometimes the donations still keep coming in after the video is done, so uh, I will provide updated totals since I have them. Oh, I have a bunch of PayPal notifications, and I have some other notifications, too, from sales, so... 25, 35, 45, at least 45, at least 50. Quick estimate, we're over 100, but I, I can't tell real quick. So I'll figure that out as soon as we're done with this piece. Thank you everybody for watching. Thank you for donating. Again, a good chunk of your donations tonight. We'll be going to the Restoration House to help folks in need in our town, where we live in our county, Bryson City. Um, Swain County is think considered one of the most impoverished counties in North Carolina so we do need all the help we can get if you have a little to spare. So here comes traveling down the lonesome road. Don't you wanna go one, two, three. <laughs> Storms are raging high and it's awful cold. My 
I'm not just back to you, sweetheart, and I love you so. Now you're gone and left me here to travel this lonesome road. <laughs> so you can see what that looks like and we hope that you'll give a little bit whatever you can to the restoration house tonight through the link in the video description tune into our facebook page again maybe next weekend where we'll be doing this again so thank great. you all have a great night thank you thank you thank you check in this week